what's up you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl chef rambo back with another banging recipe your girls get ready to make school breakfast bagels let's get into it so you guys are gonna need salt pepper sausage i'm using two packs of sausage because i'm greedy like that you guys are gonna need some plain bagels you can use any kind of bagels you want to use any brand but make sure they're plain pioneer gravy salt pepper and season all and baby let's go ahead and get into it First thing you want to do is go ahead and cook your sausage. I like my sausage a little brown, baby, a little, a little, a little dark with some color in it. So you want to cook your sausage for about 10 to 15 minutes, okay? Once your sausage starts looking like my sausage, this is how we know we're ready to go. Let's rock and roll. Let's start getting ready to start assembling these bagels. But first, <laughs> we can't assemble no bagels unless we start on that gravy. So let's get to it. Get you some Pioneer Country Gravy Mix. I had to get the family size, y'all, because they was all out of the individual packs. But if you guys are cooking this for yourself, get you two individual packs, all right? Follow the instructions on the package of gravy and go ahead and get it cracking like this or whatever. It's going to take you about five or six minutes to make this gravy once the water starts boiling. Season all, black pepper and salt, okay? Completely optional, completely optional. Don't start coming for me. You don't need all that. You ain't got to do it. This is just how Chef Rambo likes to make her gravy, okay? Don't come for me. Once your gravy is this consistency, baby, we are ready to go. We are ready to go. Gravy is good, looking good, seasoned. It's perfect, perfect consistency, baby. It's not too watery. It's not too thick. It's perfect. Let's get to it. But first, we got to have some cheese for these bagels, mozzarella shredded cheese or any cheese of your preference that you want to use all right now go ahead and open up your bagels i'm using mini bagels and i'm using normal regular size bagels go ahead and open them things up go ahead and get you some of that good old pioneer country gravy baby and go ahead and start spreading it on top of that bagel Sorry, y'all. I had to hit my blood. Oh, my gosh. This looks so freaking good. Just go ahead and spread it out evenly, y'all. So it looks like this. You don't want to put too much gravy, but you want to make sure you put enough so we can make sure when we dive into these things, it's nice and creamy. All right. We have our gravy on our bagels. We're good to go. Go ahead and uh, preheat you guys' oven to 350. But you got to add some cheese, like I said, mozzarella cheese or any cheese of your preference, baby. Get you a pretty decent amount of cheese. Not too much, but don't underdo it, okay? Looking good, looking good. Ow, yes. Nice and cheesy. Yes, please, baby. And don't worry about the little cheese that falls on the pan or whatever. That ain't, that ain't going to affect the bagels, okay? Now it's time to add that sausage. Sausage looking all good. Put it on right on top of them bagels. Now, before y'all come for me in the comments and be like, oh my gosh, these sausage breakfast bagels that we used to eat in school in the 90s were like little balls. Yours are not little balls. It's okay. This is just how Chef Rambo liked to make hers. You don't have to make yours into balls unless you want to. I just cooked my sausage as normal, like as, as if I was making gravy or whatever. So you don't have to, you know, roll it into little balls unless you want to. But you do have to put some extra mozzarella cheese on top just to keep everything together. And we like cheese, so we like it extra cheesy, all right? All right. You can either cook them on 350 or you can cook them on 375. I cooked my school breakfast bagels on 350 for about 15 minutes just until the cheese started to melt and get nice and golden brown. And boom, baby. Just like we used to have in the 90s and the early 2000s in middle school and elementary school, y'all. School breakfast bagels. Fire. Make them homemade. They taste way better. You ain't going to have to order them on Amazon or get them off no expensive site. Make them at home. School breakfast bagels. Period. Okay. Period. Period, 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 period. And another thing I like about these bagels, y'all, they're filling once you make these bagels, once you eat one or two, you're full. That's breakfast. You could always, you know, 
put these in the deep freezer. You can put these in the normal freezer. You know, they'll probably last you a couple, couple weeks in the freezer, maybe a, maybe a month or so. I'm not sure. I've never done it. I don't know. But you definitely could freeze these if you guys wanted to make these for girls day, girls night, brunch. Um, if you're having people over, like I said, for the holidays and you want to do brunch or a big breakfast, make these school breakfast bagel chef Rambo style, period.